Hi, I'm Andy Atkinson, Specialist Sales Engineer Manager at BT, and I'm here to talk about the growing threat of DDoS attacks, what to look out for, and what you can do to protect your organisation. As an IT professional, you're probably no stranger to DDoS attacks. They seem like they've been around forever. The first one was in 1999, and since then, they've morphed into a growing global phenomenon that continues to plague organisations to this day. In fact, there were 9.8 million DDoS attacks globally in 2021. That's 19 DDoS attacks every minute of every single day. These attacks have become increasingly sophisticated, longer in duration, with some attacks lasting a week or longer, and more targeted. There is expected to be 30 billion IoT devices on the internet by 2025, and many of these are manufactured to low standards with a host of security vulnerabilities. They're easy to compromise and bring under malicious control to unleash these devastating attacks. DDoS attacks are a rapidly growing problem and understandably, many organisations are struggling to understand and keep pace with the risks they face. Which is why BT saw a 260% increase in DDoS attacks amongst our customers between March 2021 and March 2022. Broadly speaking, there are three different types of DDoS attacks. The first is volumetric. These are your basic DDoS attacks. A digital zombie horde coming down your internet access pipes and consuming all your bandwidth and resources. Secondly, they're state exhaustion attacks. These take advantage of how stateful devices like firewalls and load balancers work by keeping track of incoming and outgoing connections in state tables. And finally, the third type of DDoS attacks are application layer attacks. These attacks take advantage of specific vulnerabilities in the application layer. It's much easier and safer to be prepared for DDoS attacks than it is to try and backtrack after they hit. And unfortunately, they will hit eventually. One of the first things you can do is to really get under the hood of your networks and services. When you know which aspects of your networks and service are vulnerable to being overwhelmed and exhausted, you know where to focus your prevention efforts. Then there's upstream defences to consider. Volumetric DDoS attacks can't be stopped by firewalls, so it's important to find out what protections your ISP or CDM provider for cloud-based services can offer you. To protect against other kinds of attacks, you need to build to allow scaling. Cloud-native applications can be automatically scaled using the cloud provider's APIs, so you can make sure you have sufficient flexible bandwidth in your network. It's also critically important to define your response plan ahead of an attack. Do you know what you do if you got attacked tomorrow, or found yourself without the internet for a few days? As we've seen, the sophistication and scale of these attacks are always evolving, so continually monitoring your systems for abnormalities and testing your defences is imperative. BT offer a range of DDoS mitigation services. These services are built into our network as standard, so you can simply turn on DDoS protection. Mitigation is automatic and we can combine this service with intelligent devices that work in conjunction with upstream services to provide a multi-layered approach that targets all three categories of DDoS attacks. We built our DDoS mitigation platform to protect the 2012 London Olympics and BT's own internet services and platforms such as BT TV and BT Sport from the global rising threat from DDoS. We use the same platform to protect you and we are constantly evolving our platform to stay ahead of the threat landscape. Revisit your risk assessment and business impact analysis around DDoS today and make sure you have adequate protection.